What's up, dudes? Welcome to another go kart racing video. I'm back at full throttle here in Cincinnati. And I'm just by myself, so I'm racing against a bunch of randoms. And I figured I would go back. It's my 15th race here at full throttle, both old and current duration of the facility. Uh, that's my eighth visitor. So, I'm gonna go back and see how we do by ourselves and um, see what we can do. See if we can set some personal bests at full throttle on Rush. See if we can make the top 10 best of the week or even just the top 12. That's what they keep track of. We're a little slow to get going. So, shoot, might have been stuck up against the side, but. I'm like flooring it right to the exit and nearly done. So we go right out of the chute. Gotta get around the guy. This video, actually, I'm just gonna leave it unedited. So you're gonna be able to watch it from start to finish. We're gonna start here, 1080 field of view on my GoPro, Hero 7 Black. Just the wide angles here, stereotypical GoPro shot. Lap one coming out here. Gonna get under some people. Move them out of the way. Unless that first lap is one day. It's the first lap, but either way, we get around this girl in a scooter shirt. Trying to get around multiple slow people at one time is always the hardest. I didn't hear there a little bit, but. And then when they wrote, wave that flight, I don't know what she's doing there. It looks like she's swerving, but then get into her again. Did I come back under her? Nope. Watch her just gonna spin herself out. And take my line back to this intersection. Perfect. Back out to the wall. Early breaking point, you can just gas it through there. Not a problem. And you can see adrenaline over there on the right. Per usual, we're gonna go over there and do a race as well. But that corner there in the back corner is still tricky and I'm getting it down more. I use this track and really get a feel for that corner. It's always difficult, but this track back here is smoother. So it's a lot faster through this whole section for this first corner, if you want to call it a corner. But the first one, I should say. Is that first one counts a corner on the front track after the finish line? It's all one just giant corner. Either way, they get by Mr. Black Stallion there in 59. He actually had the slowest of the night in this race. 26.892. I actually didn't run as many laps because somewhere on lap nine got stuck. But Sherelle Dukes, that's this girl here. Looks like she has her own helmet. I'm not sure what that's about. Can't get around here as so I have to take the long way around. Didn't get this exit. Pit exit is almost breaking point. You can almost break right after that. Tap the brakes and move on. Just enough to slow yourself down and make a corner. That corner you can almost slide yourself into it. But I really like this layout of Rush and just wing it through there, go over the crack in the concrete there. And then slam into that corner. This one's a nice uh, reducing radius corner. Into the S's. Back onto this. Casual 180 degree hairpin, which isn't much of a hairpin, but it's a nice little thing. Catch it back up to Madison Fry there, and number 11, Leia. So she's the girl that we already passed her once. Cut back under her? Nope. She takes a narrow exit. So I have to go around her, keep an eye on her. Cleared, and we're back to the inside. We get our eye out on the wide, uh, wider line. Just get loose. And it looks like she had gotten loose, or those girls behind me might have gotten together. There's a little bit of contact there. Turn 
one. Okay, let's see go. And I have to navigate him right as I get to that corner. So there's no way. Once someone's there, you just have to follow him through to push him through that corner. Or just squeeze your way by. At that time I waited until he got through the S's to cut back under him and go. A little loose there out of that corner. My favorite part is at the end of this video where I think we ran into one of these guys up here. 38, slow, she's the caution here. Stay green. Doesn't have an issue anywhere. There we go. Back to the green. I'm gonna take it wide and just end up getting worse here. She had the early breaking point and just punted her through the corner. Massive. I nearly passed me, but made my way through here, making my way downtown. Driving very fast. Can get around her this time on the outside. The answer is yes. A little bit of an incident here with those two guys. Overdrive. Turn one. Okay, the Andre Ortiz. Black Hamill with stickers. I have added a sticker or two since our last endeavor here. Got me some Supporter Supply Company stickers as a result of the Columbus Crew merch for the Hell is Real games between Columbus Crew SC and this hometown's team of SC Cincinnati. 41, Garen Smith. Come up here around him. We have already run through, I think, our seventh lap, which is our fastest at 21. So we're just running some laps here. Just running around people so we're not getting any quick laps. So we can get by people as fast as possible. Right now, Hampton. Barely hanging on to this car there as we're trying to get around. Lay, in the 11. Hooter and the Blowfish. That's where those tires jump out late apex there in turn one there. It looks like they have an extra tire. So you can see the flag and wave the flag to let me by. Then the fast break. Back under Stallion. And we move through. That is the final lap. 16 laps complete. And I know having not been passed, that's a dub for me. Finished 1.35-ish seconds. Ahead of Garen Smith in the 41, we ran a 22.440, and I get rear-ended there. I'm just trying to cool down, just relax. And this guy thinks the race is not over. Ryan L. Hampton. I wasn't too happy about that, because you don't hit people, so that's why I gave him a little bit of shotgun in the pit road. They didn't mention that. I thought he was pointing over there to the last corner. That he was in trouble for back there. But instead... I shut off the camera here and avoid possibly an altercation. Tried to get his attention after the race, but he got out to the left side of the cart. And that was that. I didn't get to talk to him. So it avoided possible altercation. I didn't get too heated. But that's okay. Now we're rolling on race two. On adrenaline, I'm in the 24 car. Mercy Health car once again. I was very excited about that being in the Mercy Health. So, with Super View on this time, so you can see a little bit extra, really get immersed in the go karting experience and the heat on my tires down the front. Second straight away. This track, having been elongated since, I should say, at least stretched out there, that middle section is a lot wider and spaced out towards the garage doors here. Since the Reconstruction, expansion, and all that. The actual finish line is there. We're trying to get around people. And that's where lap one begins. 43 gets punted through. And this track, as you can see already, even with the steady shot on, like there's there's this camera does not allow too much in terms of bumpiness and shakiness. So God bless GoPro for making the best active cameras on the market. It's with the Hero 7 Black here. Let's see if there's a Hero coming out. Oh, that 
does. That corner there, turn number one, still hard to figure out. You gotta get right in the grooves through the apex of that corner, and you can't be right next to the wall. But these laps are very hard to get down. This track is so technical, trying to find those bumps and get them nailed down perfectly while also trying to run a fast lap, shortest line possible. Here to the final kink break right there at the right hander, the left hander. Power right through that. That's one of the bumpiest corners there to the middle section. This person is super slow, one Cobra. So let me get by here and just squeeze by the air feeler. And the bumpiest part of the track is you bump, go through all of those bumps, and then come through here, still bumping the B. And then we get through. That's physically one of the most brutal parts of the track because you're just bouncing even all the way through there. This used to be the original first corner left-hander on the original configuration of the track and this corner did not go out as far to the right as it does there towards the new pit exit. And you can, that left, that turn, final turn on this course which is turn one on the old course was a just straight left-hander with a little bit of runoff space on the right. Stretch it out towards the garage here, come through the old pit road over that green drainage area. Break early to try and see if I can get a run on number 15 here. Come to the first corner, Austin. Go kiss him. Yeah. He slides away, I go through. In this corner there, turn two is hard to figure out the apex and the exit. It's an early apex, gas early and take a wide exit. Bouncing through here, through the inner corners, turn seven. Yes, is that guy I talked to some of those guys beforehand. I wave him on. He said, thanks for letting me by. Because he knew I was coming. One of the bumpiest parts of the track. There was a group of four guys there, so what's up, dudes? I know you guys are watching. Thank you for hanging out with me there a little bit. Early apex there, and then taking a wide exit right out to the wall. Right at the pillar, hanging to the left. Keeping it nice and tight. You don't want to swing back out to the left too much. Keeping it narrow just on the finish line. Just trying to get by these guys, so I'm trying to figure it out. And perfect execution on the wide entry cut back. Keep an eye on them, making sure I'm clear through the final corner, right-handed kink, left-hander to the finish line. Very, very bumpy track. I love this track for its uniqueness and its character, but it is physically brutal because I walk away every single time I race on this track welts on my lower back from where my back is in contact with the seat. I still feel pain since it's been two days from being recording this since I was there on Saturday. It's been like, ah, I still feel pain. Anyways, there I'm starting to nail down that corner. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm figuring this out. Smooth there through turn one. That one I'm starting to get. There, I just totally forgot to turn. I don't know what I was doing. So, terrible lap ensues. Let's see if I can hang a wide egg, wide entry into here. That didn't work. Slide way out wide, got loose there. Maybe I can just make it up. Just keep it wide there, mount back to the inside. In the final corner. And the lap begins. I'll try it again. Is that, you really have to roll through that first corner. You can't break too much. If you do, you compromise your turn two speed. When you do that, you compromise this one. Half your lap goes to this. Way wide, just bouncing all the way to the wall. It was a lot tougher to turn to the right in this car. I had to put more wheel into it. it felt like it. Turning left was really easy to just do. I don't know what it is. This, maybe I'm just used to this track, the carts, whatever. But that wide exit into this corner. It's definitely difficult. Just went way wide to that one. Starting to figure this out. But I love going full speed through here because you almost get loose there and you have to swing it back, bounce out to the wall a little bit. I tried that and I cut it too early, so lost my speed. Ooh, lost my speed through the asses there. Bounce off the inside. Where are these guys gonna go? Avoid him. Am I clear? Yep. Come right through here. Took that corner a little too well. Came right up on me. Right through there, wide exit. Nail on this. 
fucking hell on this track right now. I did finish 11th on the rush race for the best times of the week. So I was pretty proud of that. I was so close to the top 10. Uh, fastest lap for rush that week was this week we ranked in So my goal here is a 29.3 for adrenaline one circuits cutting under someone here. We're coming up with a few minutes to go. It's about two and a half minutes left here. Two minutes maybe. Coming up, I think I'm at 10 or 11. To come up on Marissa Harris. Inside. She cut me off. Two laps. She should say three laps to go. I decided to just finish her off. I could have sworn after the race, when I looked back on it, I was like, I thought she looked at me and I thought I was clear on the inside. Look at it again. Here now, I should say, when I look at it. She might not have looked, not have even known I was there. I thought I had the inside line. I, usually you can hear someone if they're that close. But she didn't, and when she was inside, I didn't want to compromise my lap time, so I just finished her off. Decided, just know I'll completely spin her out. Just finish it off. Sixty-six was executed. We move on two to go here. So about a lap of caution. They come around. This is lap thirteen, which was a total of a forty-six point four three. Bam! Here we go. Final lap uh, in this eight-minute race. Nailed the entry. Wide exit. Perfect. Kept my momentum up. Kept the speed going. Keeping it narrow. Just enough space so I don't bounce off the wall. Narrow entry, two wheels on the finish line, very light on the brakes, narrow it in, no sliding at all, maybe could have used a little bit extra speed on the exit, wide entry into this corner, the chicane, the check flag's waving, we come across the line with a 32 point, excuse me, 31.239, so 1.9 seconds off of the fast slide of the week. Didn't even get in the top 12 by 0.6 seconds. But 47 with a celebratory drift. Hasa Creech on his 13th lap. So these guys are all having a good time. Thanks to the four guys that I raced with there. I finished this race with a 31.239. Second place had a 33.029. So 1.8 seconds almost faster lap. Give the guys I talked to a thumbs up. 1.79 gap, I should say, if I can just do the math. I can look. I have it on the sheet. Anyways, that was Rush and Adrenaline at full throttle. So, it's always great to be back here. Two more wins brings me to 11 and 5 all time between here and GBK. Thanks for watching, guys. A live video, live festival video coming soon. You will see it soon. But thank you guys for watching. And stay tuned for another live stream coming up. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.